Stop looking at progress bars only for tracking percentage completion of your tasks. What may look like a normal innocent progress bar may have some hidden magical facts about them. Most people have between 10 and 100 current projects, personally or professionally. Projects could have a definitive next action or waiting for or past. So, looking at a definitive progress bar type for tracking percentage completion is not the answer. Your project name is based on the outcome that you'll achieve, so that it motivates you towards achieving it. You would typically review these projects once a week to remove any potential future bottlenecks or to handle exceptions. As a project management best practice, this is better than looking at all the 100 projects at one time. Let's talk a little bit more about progress bars. Everybody who uses Notion loves visual progress bars. In simple terms, if you check off items from your tasks, the progress bar just fills up and tells you what percentage of tasks you have completed. Let's take an example of a template. You can break it down into tasks from idea to roll out. So in real life, these steps need to be broken down into many more to define them better. So the magic happens by creating relations between tasks and projects and aggregating that information at the project level using rollups. It can either be done using the same database, but it's much simpler using two different ones. Notion has now changed the relations a little and you now have the option to make the relation show up in the other database or simply choose to hide it. In this case, it's useful to have the relation show up in both the databases. I have a few videos around building and using progress bars, which are somewhere on this screen and the links are in the description below. And here is where it gets interesting. So we'll continue this video from where we left off in the last few videos. A typical project has a number of statuses. Have you started? Is it progressing well? Or is there something that you're struggling with? blocking the project or it's been paused on your own accord. Now for each of these stages, I chose a Unicode symbol that best reflects it. Again, tasks and projects have a start and an end date and delays are caused by missed deadlines. So the red dot or the green dot indicates whether any task is overdue. The million dollar question is, how on earth did you get different progress bars in the same column? inside of Notion. So before we answer that question, there, there is something important I need to tell you. Projects are outcomes that require more than one step or task to complete. If a step requires more than a day to complete, you need to further break that down till you feel you can accomplish this all in a single day. The key to the magic lies in the select field called project review status, which is used at the weekly review stage. For each status, I have defined a progress bar individually. So each of these progress bars are nested with an if condition and should the select property be true, it shows up. I also have a formula in the task database that calculates the number of days remaining for me to accomplish the task. So if the done checkbox is ticked, it's marked off as done. If it's overdue, it's marked off as due. Now this is rolled up to the original project database in original form. So Notion doesn't allow numbers and text to coexist together. So I formatted every number into text. So the last part of the formula is on the track indicator. So the progress bar and the on track indicator is held together using a concat formula. So all of this works when the task is linked to the right project. So in the tasks database, I opened a view by project, filtered to that project based off the related project field. So now to add another task to the project, I just need to go to the tab and add it in. And this saves me a significant amount of time, making sure that all projects and tasks are linked correctly. So if you would like to get a copy of this template, go into the description and click on the link given and it's yours for free. If you're not yet part of this community, 
do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.